stupid assholes. Call use the 911 system. Oh, we're gonna die by this knocking on my neighbor's door, looking inside the window. 266 Sierra is going to attach to that recent 911 call at 421 Miro Park. Let's go check out what that's about. Uh, 421 Mirror Park. Let's take a look. Uh, 421. So we have uh, a little weirded out by the student knocking on my neighbor's door and looking inside the windows. So he lives at 420. The person's at 421. Not at home right now. Can you send someone? Yeah, let's go. Let's go see what we can do about that one. Let's. Excuse me, guys. I'm gonna come through here real quick. It's not the most urgent situation in the world, so we're just gonna kind of roll over there, see what's going on. Um, you know, not. I think I might have ran that red light. Besides, <laughs> besides that, we're not gonna break any traffic laws getting over there. So, uh, you know, we just we're gonna kind of roll around, see if uh, see if everyone's safe over there, make sure that nothing crazy is going on. Uh, 266 Sierra is about to be on scene for that uh, 911 call at 421 Mirror Park. Uh, could we maybe get someone else just in the area in case things get a little squirrely? Yeah, 426 Sierra can route that way. Awesome, thank you. I don't want to be out here by myself. I don't trust these people. Mirror Park people are crazy. So, um, all right. So we're coming up on scene right now. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. So I'm gonna mark myself on scene. <clears throat> Whoa. Let's put, let's put the gun away. Uh, excuse me, sir. What? Hey, uh what what do you, what's going on here today? Can you can you go ahead and step uh, over here? My girlfriend's home and she's not opening the door. Okay, well let's. How about we step over here for a minute just to talk about it, okay? Come over here with me. Why? Come on. Come over here and talk to me real quick. Oh. All the way behind the car, trying trying to have a conversation with you. Why? Because because I asked you to. Okay, I'm trying. I, I'm just. I'll explain what's going on uh, in a second, but I want you to come over here, away from the house, talk to me for a second. All right. And adjust the air. I mean, what is? Is it that much harder to walk five feet over here behind this car? It's easier to get in the car and sit in there warm. Well, you are already outside, so you chose to be outside, so come over here, stand behind the car. Come on. Okay, so what, tell me, what, what are you doing? You said you're out here trying to uh, get in contact with uh, your, your partner or something? Yeah, girlfriend. Okay, is there any particular... No, opening the door. Is there any particular reason that they're not opening the door? That you could imagine? I, you know? enough. I mean, are they upset with you? Are they have you been uh have been in fights recently or something like that? Uh something happened in the past, but we're over that. <laughs> Is there any chance that you are at the wrong house? Is that possible? No. Okay. Well, here's here's the deal. We we had a a 911 call come in that you were over here basically banging on this door, looking in the windows, stuff like that, and uh, and obviously clearly the person that's in this yeah, house doesn't want. Well, clearly the person in this house doesn't want you to to enter the house or or to interact with them. So. Um, you know, maybe maybe being here isn't the best idea for you right now. 
Because you're right now. We're I'm I'm responding to someone being I extraordinarily. Well, yeah, but you look really suspicious looking in their windows and stuff. I mean, you know, it, like you could be someone trying to rob the house. You know, like you know, you you could be lying to me about that. I mean, I Why just. Why would I park my car in the tripod? <laughs> Then. Well, you know, like like I said, it, it it's just suspicious looking. Who knows it's your car? You know what I mean? So, like, it's just let maybe, maybe since they don't want you inside the house right now, maybe try to send them a text message or give them a call to meet up at a different time. Peeking through their windows and and being weird is probably not what you're what you should be doing right now. Well, she's not responding to texts either. Well, I mean, in my experience with uh, with relationship partners, maybe that means that they need some space or that they're not ready to uh, to do this right now. Uh, no, we're fine. I mean, clearly, <laughs> I mean, clearly, it doesn't seem so. Uh, maybe you know, if they're not letting you in their house, I mean, that's not fine, is it? Well, I mean, is oh, it... maybe she's at some store or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, I mean that's definitely a possibility. Uh, but sitting here looking in the windows, uh, acting suspicious, is not going to uh, improve your situation. I mean, it's just gonna, it's just gonna lead to us having to uh, intervene, and 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 people are looking at you weird from the other houses and stuff. So maybe let's not do this. Let's Which let's. House? I'm I'm not gonna tell you which house called in. Be, be, uh, you know, I mean, it's just it, it, right. people around I'm this not... house. Well, because people have a right to their privacy. People around this house are looking at you weirdly, because you're being weird, and they uh, they they're con they're sus they're concerned that you're being a little uh, suspicious. So that you know they don't want their neighbors to get broken into or whatever. So. Uh, let's, my recommendation is let's, you know, g go ahead and roll on out of here, get, maybe give it some time, give it a break, and then come back at some point that you've determined with your significant other that you will both be here. That way you don't have to, like, you know, just loiter around the front of the house hoping that they're going to open the door. <laughs> I mean, does that sound like a plan? Hmm. Fine. If you don't mind, let me, uh, can I go ahead and just grab your ID, make sure, uh, you know, you're not like a wanted murderer or anything like that. I just want to check on you real quick. Is, is that cool? Can I grab your ID from you real quick? You really think I'm a murderer? I mean, you know, you you never know. We live in Los Santos, so you know what what can you truly expect? But you know, I I don't expect I, from what I've talked to you. I don't. I'm not that concerned about you. But at the same time, uh, I love every time that I'm on a scene of someone. I want to make sure that they are who they who they are and stuff like that. I want to make sure I know who I'm talking to. So can I go ahead and grab your ID and just uh just run your information real quick? And I just leave. I mean, well, I, like I said, I just I just want to make sure you are who, you, you know, you, I want to know who I'm talking to. I, I'd prefer, you know, it's good for the notes that I have to take, the records that, you know, I have to give back to the police station. I'd prefer to know who I'm talking to, all that kinds of stuff, so. Can I just grab that E from you? Two six six here. Can I get that additional oh, up yeah, at four two one Mirror Park? Grab it. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Yeah, they're being a little defensive, not wanting to give me their identification. So. I'm gonna step over here. Just in case they try to fucking. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, not much, you. Uh, not not a lot. This this person was. Uh, they're trying. I guess. From Here. What... 
Okay, hang on. They're... Like... All right, I'll come grab it from you. Hang on. All right, just hang tight for me real quick. Yeah, so they were uh, basically, from what, what they were telling me, they're trying to get in contact with their significant other. Uh, they won't open the door, apparently. Uh, the neighbors called in, someone, you know, peeking through windows, being a little suspicious. I'm just, I want to run their information real quick, make, know I'm who I'm dealing with and all that kinds of stuff. So I'm going to just, just watch them real quick while I, while I run their info, if you can. All right, no worries. All right, thank you. Yeah, this person's being weird, bro. Uh, hang on, let me pull up this. Um, okay, so let's do a NCIC lookup on this person. So it's going to be S-12-0220-2. Four zero nine four. Richard Dale. <clears throat> one. We just heard shots fired uh, by the bank. Oh, that's not good. Um. So recent arrests for battery and resisting a peace officer <clears throat> a couple days ago. No active warrants or anything like that. So, so I'm not super concerned about it. Uh. Well, my main concern basically at this point is just gonna be getting them the hell out of here. So. All right, so I'm not seeing any active. Yeah, I'm not. I like as I was about to tell my fellow officer here, I'm not seeing any active warrants or anything. We're not looking for you. You're not, you know, anything like that. But one, you know, like I said earlier, my recommendation is uh, you should probably get out of here. And you know, if your significant other is desires to uh, have you around or invite you into their home, you should probably pre-coordinate that with them and not come to their house and be peeking through the windows and acting. Uh, weirdly so uh, yeah let's go ahead and get on out of here for the evening and not do this again if we can because you're freaking out the neighbors why won't you tell me who oh. so can are, can we agree that we're gonna we're gonna all leave and especially you yeah. okay so let's, yeah. let's go ahead and do that you can work out with your situation with your with your significant other that is none of my business i don't know what's going on with that but it's not my business so you can figure out that out with them uh let's not do it standing outside of their house trying to look through their windows because then it becomes our uh our business i got my id back yeah here's your id There you go. All right, so go ahead and get on out of here. Well, uh, I hope to not see you again this evening. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, we'll stay. I'll move back so we can clear the driveway, and we'll see if they actually leave. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. So nothing crazy. I mean, most you know, with most police interactions, you don't have to have some insane, you know, like crazy arrest or shootout or the person's acting like a goddamn psychopath in order to resolve the situation. Damn, the person is slipping and sliding all around.